So actually, this is uh, for uh, interesting topic. I would say that how the nematode could be exploited. Because you must have heard about nematodes. They are all pathogenic to the plants. And there are certain group of nematodes which could be exploited for the uh, bicontrol of insects. Because this field, this EPN, this endocrine pathogenic nematodes, they are generally called EPN, they are having very uh, commercial value in the sense uh, this could be the nematology field, yeah, could be exploited for uh, commercialization for the control of insect pest, which is a very serious problem because nowadays we are all going for uh, alternative methods because you know that using chemicals. Uh, which is hazardous in nature, and uh, even government agencies, policy makers, they are insisting for uh, any methods which should be uh, eco friendly. We should not be having any chemicals. So, the thing is, we, the scientists and the, your students, and all of us, we are searching for so many alternatives. Among the alternatives, you know that for the best control, you know, best is a very, very serious problem in agriculture production. And, uh, we, uh, some of the, a lot of chemicals are available, as I said, because of the environmental hazards. Uh, there is a lot of alternatives like fungus, bacteria, and protozoan, and uh, so many things are there, and nematodes also play a major role in uh, uh, controlling insects. So, as a nematologist, we are exploiting this nematode for the control of insects. So, I have been working, I am from the Soviet Medical Institute, which is a national institute. We are mostly concentrating on uh, sugarcane breeding because uh, you know that uh, this is the only ends available in uh, southern India and we mainly focus on sugarcane breeding. And the thing is that uh, <coughs> we, uh, other, other disciplines like entomology, pathology and other disciplines, we are collaborating and we are assisting the, uh, the breeders in developing uh, sugarcane varieties. So most of the varieties, sugarcane varieties, which is being cultivated in India is being developed, 90% of the varieties are being developed from our institute, sugarcane breeding institute. And I request the students, you must visit our institute because uh, it's a national institute, that, so uh, you should have very good experts in visiting my institute, right? This is my request. And uh, I'll, I'd like to go into the uh, uh, presentations that EPN, yeah, by pesticide, for insect pest control, uh, isolation to commercialization. Yeah, this is why I put this is isolation and commercialization. You must uh, study it in your undergraduate and postgraduate, and somebody must be working in the uh, as a research program on EPN, uh, under pathogenic bacteria. So the thing is, we have doing we are doing a lot of work, and uh, we are doing for research purpose and for thesis purpose. Then after that, we simply left over the cultures and we simply forget it. So we never uh, bother about the publication and the uh, next uh, next higher level uh, uh, we can uh, uh, take into that. So that's why I said you should isolate it and uh, the ultimate purpose is it should be commercialized. Commercialized in the sense this should be uh, 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 a benefit for the farming community. Okay. So this is the photograph you can see the remote and uh, the red one that is, that is the dead uh, white crop. This is due to envirophytes in nematodes, and uh, this is the formulation we developed. As far as uh, my, you know, nematology in ICR SBA, that is ICR Sugar Cane Breeding Institute, is concerned, we are working on two aspects: one on plant parasitic nematodes, and another one is endopathogenic nematodes and the symbiotic bacterial complex. So, in plant parasitic nematodes, as like you now, uh, you know, we developed biodiversity integrated nematode management practices. For the control of sugarcane plant parasitic nematodes, we surveyed uh, entire uh, sugarcane uh, areas of the uh, uh, different states, and uh, we uh, mapped and we just diversified. We, uh, and uh, we, we know the what are the nematodes, what are nematodes are there attacking the sugarcane. Now, apart from the sugarcane plant parasites, and I, we are focusing on other aspects, endopathogenic nematodes, which is uh, very, <coughs> you know, that it's very potential, virulent. Uh, we identify isolated, identified, and we standardize mass production formulation technologies, and we proved in the field, and uh, we just we, uh, then uh, we are commercialized uh, to several biopesticide companies. 
And apart from the nematode, you know the endoplasmic pathogenic nematodes, it is a complex between endoplasmic pathogenic bacteria and nematode. So we are working on endoplasmic pathogenic bacteria also, that it's water raptors and zero raptors. We isolated, identified, and uh, we just uh, we even crude, crude culture as well as the uh, purified uh, the metabolites. Uh, Identified the insecticidal uh, compounds there. This is the work we are doing in nematology. I am the only scientist available there now. You, as far as EPN is concerned, uh, this is the growth rate of uh, uh, microbial pesticides from the previous years because 10 to 25 percent is going to be increased. And the EPN account for the most of the five pesticides compared next to the basic stringencies. You all must be knowing BT. Uh, it is since first in the uh, market uh, that is globalization and uh, this baby uh, this even comes next to the bt and uh, if you see there uh, a lot of a lot of companies are producing epns the key players in the commercial production of epn based products are bionema that is limited in uk arab growth from uh, organics from us and enema of germany and biogums netherlands so these are some of the companies that are producing epn why am Putting this slide is that EPN products are available in the Western countries and in India it is in fancy and some companies are now we, we are popularizing. We two, three uh, institutes are working together. We are involving mass products of this EPN and we are giving commercial uh, commercial license to the lot of private companies for uh, just the thing thing is we are just now we are popularizing and it's getting past two, three years, past 10 years. It is being popularized and a lot of companies are coming forward in India also and uh, So before, this is for uh, those uh, not familiar with EPN, uh, you know, first you should understand what is EPN, right? Uh, uh, because some of the friends may be there, they may not be aware about e what is EPN. So for them, actually this number two, they are, as I said, they are non-beneficial and beneficial. Beneficial in the sense, the center of pathogen. Non-beneficial in the sense, they are the, they are the number two, which could cause damage to the plant parts. They are enemy to us, that's why it's called non beneficial. The, the, the beneficial nematodes could cause damage to the soil bone insect pests, yet they are not harmful to the humans, animals, plants, or earthworms, and can therefore be used as a biological control program. These beneficial nematodes could also refer to as endopathogenic, it is causing disease within the insect because a lot of nematodes have association with insects. That association may be either applicate or it may not be pathogenic. Parasit, uh, the relationships are there, but pathogenics, very few nematodes are having, causing disease in the insects. So they are generally called an insecticidal. That means it could kill, the ability to kill the insects. So this is a simple uh, photograph. You can see this is a plant parasite. That is, uh, is and a pathogenic. You see the mouth parts. Uh, it doesn't have, EPN doesn't have any style like structure. Right? So this is, uh, I said, causing disease in the insect, insect is nematodes, and a pathogen. So which could kill the, the peculiar thing is, among all the biocontrol agents, those who are employed for the control of insects, this EPM always have a major advantage in the sense, which could kill the insects in 24 to 48 hours. That is a very good, because quick mortality. That is why we always in the upper side, that is nematodes are upper side, and uh, these farmers are very much interested in uh, uh, getting, the, you, know, you wanted to get the EPN product. The fungus, like metarhizium or Bavaria or any other virus, it will take, you know, uh, one or uh, two weeks to kill the any insects, but these nematodes, uh, definitely it is uh, killed within 24 to 48 hours. There are two genus, that is nematode, that is tenenema and atraptitis. These two genus are in, involved as, they are called as endopathogenic, but uh, the thing is, the nematode, they are not alone killing the insects, they have a, a relationship, relationship the sense, symbiotic relationship with a particular specific bacteria. By association of these two bacteria, they could kill the uh, insect very quickly. The sense here, the main causal agent for killing the insect is the bacteria, like the synonyma having association with the synoraptors type of bacteria, whereas heteroraptors type of nematodes having association with the photoraptors. The thing is, here, uh, as like BT, these are like, you know, photoraptors, they are the main casualization, as I said, they are only killing the uh, inside. 
whereas the nematode acts as a vector here. So you know that as a nematologist, you must be very well knowing that these bacteria, nematodes carrying the bacteria inside its guts. So this is a, a by, but without the nematode, the bacteria cannot enter inside any inside. So which needs the help of the nematode. That's why they have sympathetic relations. I need you, you need me. This is the concept. So any nematode uh, killed by Shalini uh, uh, nematodes will be in black in color. And uh, any nematodes, any insects killed by uh, heteropetis group of nematodes will be in reddish or brick red in color. And as I said, there is a bacterial relationship. Uh, they have a mutual relationship. And uh, this nematode, this bacteria, they are providing necessary components for the nematode development. This topic is very, this is a very, this is, nowadays this is now uh, bacterial, a uh, uh, lot of work is being uh, done on bacterial uh, research. And even they have gone for the transgenic development of transgenic plants with photoreceptors uh, uh, genes. The thing is like uh, cryogen in the like BT. Uh, because this is a uh, 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 bacterial complex, uh, TCA complex, like toxin complex, toxin complex B like that. So there, there are some group of scientists they're working on developing transgenic with the bacterial is because they, 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 they know that this bacteria is the main causal agent for killing the insects. So why don't we isolate the gene from the bacteria and we can insert into the uh, plants as well as uh, insect for uh, further uh, transgenic development of transgenic plants. And you see these bacteria, they have got, uh, a very good potential. They're uh, always they're supportive of the nematode. And uh, this, they, 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 they have the two forms like primary form Forms. The primary forms is no. This is a bacterial uh, changes phase phase one, phase two. This already this bacteria is there producing a lot of uh, metabolites, anti-cancerous in, this thing, insecticidal, nematicidal compounds. So which could be exploited and which could be used for further uh, research and further insect control or uh, fungal or bacterial control. As I said, Sennenema having association with the Sinoraptor type of bacteria, and Heteropetes is having photoraptors. You can see this is a Difference with these plates. The photoraptors, uh, it's got luminous and uh, uh, bacteria, and this is a lump state with this sinoraptors uh, bacteria. <laughs> so, you see, why, what, what is the special? What is the great uh, advantage of EPN? EPN is basically they are uh, completely non toxic. Okay, non toxic is always uh, advantage, and it has got high virulence, which will kill the insects within 24 to 48 hours. And uh, about, uh, they are very receptive to the non-organisms, mm -hmm. and all the organisms, any organism, any bioagent, which should be easily mass produced and it should be formulated. So here, EPN is, it can be easily mass produced by in vivo technique or in vitro technique fermentation, liquid fermentation or solid state fermentation. You can do it, and a lot of formulations are available in the market. And uh, like the like the chemicals, this could also be applied in the field very easily with the conventional sprayers or any other uh, drip irrigation or sprinkler irrigation. And it has got wide host range. Almost all the ins insects, 90% of the insects are being killed by these nematodes. So I did not tell you this is uh, how uh, EPN kill. You know that EPN is carrying the bacteria. Once it's getting inside the uh, insect uh, hemolymph, the bacteria is being released by the nematode. And the bacteria is killing the uh, insect within 24 hours. By, by causing septicemia, and then the nematode uh, utilizing the uh, resources available in the dead insect. Uh, once the dead insect that is uh, that food source is depleted, this nematode is coming out, uh, looking for uh, fresh uh, host. They like that this uh, life cycle is being continued. The advantage is they are very safe to uh, human beings and natural enemies and the rates and the uh, safest point in commercial station is. These are exempted from registration. EPA is the environmental protection agency in US, which is have a registration exemption for endemic pathogen nematodes. And in India also, as of today, there is no registration is needed. That is CAPRC registration needed for this particular nematode. So it can be easily be commercialized. So this is collection and extraction of endemic pathogen nematodes. Because it's simple, you know, it must be already done. For those who are non familiar with the nematodes, this is for those who are in online, mm, for other uh, discipline uh, people, I would like to say that this nematode could be isolated from the soil, from either uh, random insect uh, uh, population, like we look for uh, dead any insects, or we collect the soil samples uh, and, uh, from the, uh, using Galeria melanella or Corsera, any suitable host as a baiting. 
insect for isolation of EPS. So, you know that once you this nematode, though they are uh, 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 present in the side, they are adopting a uh, uh, strategy, foraging strategy. Like, uh, you know, if you apply the nematode in the side, there are two types of nematode. Either this nematode will search for the uh, any insect host, they are called crusher, crusher type of nematode. So there are some group of nematodes which will sit in the uh, side surface and they'll wait for any insects to be pass, passing through. They are called as ambushers. So, like sending my carpocapsi and a few types of respiratory flora. This crucial type of nematodes can be utilized, exploited for the sedentary type of fish like white grubs, because these will be present in the below the uh, in the root zone. Whereas, like helior burns, photopira, they are the moving insects where uh, <coughs> you can use any my carpocapsi that is ambushers type of nematodes for uh, control of uh, these particular insects. So as I said, this is a sit and wait strategy. If you spray the nematode there, you see this, this is a soil particle, these nematodes are hanging there. They are waiting for uh, any insects to pass through. Once any insects coming to have the contact with the particular uh, nematode, they used to enter through the natural openings, you know, through mouth, uh, animals, or spiracles, or it is they even directly penetrate through the cuticle. So this is the thing, they'll be waiting for, uh, in, uh, just imagine that if any insects passing through, they will. Uh, uh, any get infected by the uh, nematode. So as far as uh, uh, there is, we are utilized because white corrupts is a very serious place of national importance. So uh, much work is needed for control of this uh, uh, managing the white corrupts because chemicals are ineffective and other cultural methods are not effective. So uh, we are looking for uh, uh, there is economically and uh, uh, eco-friendly method for white corrupt control. You see, because why I am saying that. Uh, this among other pairs, I said white grubs, we are, we are working on in sugarcane. Uh, this is very serious, but and especially in Rajasthan and uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra and Karnataka. So uh, there is uh, there, are, there are more than six, uh, uh, more than 300 white grubs are there, but the uh, serious ones are Holotrichia species and the uh, Leucophiles. So once the damage comes, you know, it will. Uh, Maybe in the beginning it may be batches, but in the epidemics it will the entire field may be wiped out. So even 100 to 80 to 100 percent uh, yield loss may be there. So just uh, this among the among the other agents we could find EPN uh, was uh, uh, successful, and uh, so we exploited the EPN for uh, uh, white crab control. So these different stages of white crab. White crab is nothing but a uh, larvae of a beetle. Okay, you see this is the X, and the first instar you can see there. And second in star, and uh, this is the third in star adult. See, the life cycle of the white crab is one year, and uh, application uh, for the EPN it should be in the uh, in the right time. In the sense, the white crabs usually they emerge during the uh, onset of the rainy seasons, especially in the month of uh, March, April. So you, you, you must have seen that a lot of beetles in your uh, even garden or in your even in your homes or something. That means the uh, adult beetle start damaging. So what you'll do that the adult beetle, which will go to the nearby uh, neem trees or any favorable trees, which they go for uh, feeding as well as mating in the entire overnight and next day morning come to the nearby field and they lay the eggs there and it will continue for one month. So in the month of March, just imagine the six months it will be continuous feeding inside the road it will cause continuous damage. You see, Ores is feeder. But the, the, the pity is that the farmers could notice the symptom uh, during the month of October or November. By that time, the entire crop may be wiped out. So the thing is, so we said the timely control of the wood crop is very, very important. And uh, so this is efficacy. Almost, as I said, the nematode, they are soil uh, uh, organisms. They could be effectively utilized for uh, oil crabs as well as the beetle family uh, because 90 percent of the insects they spend the part of so their life cycle in the soil so it will be always uh, very very advantage and uh, that will be potential and uh, it could be uh, epn could be applied in the field come back to the foliar application and see this is about photographs and the rapid is infection these are all some of the uh, we will group on beetle so, so for soil insects like uh, some of the uh, popilio and uh, white crabs, Oteringus alcatus, Diapropus afrivatus, Carculio, 
This is all the uh, coleopterin fish and uh, these are nematodes like Lazuri, Kappa Capsi, Bacteriophora and uh, uh, these are effective. Well, you could see that from the table more than 70% uh, control is being achieved with this particular EPA. This is a uh, uh, very encouraging result and for as far as coleopterin is concerned, which needs some uh, more uh, uh, some attention in the sense these nematodes are so sensitive, so, so sensitive for the uh, that is sunlight as well as the uh, humidity. So what we have to do is we should apply that, uh, in the formulation. We should apply uh, any uh, antitesicants or uh, moisturizers like any glycera. So we could get uh, we could control of uh, this foliar pest. But as I said, even for foliar pest and even for soil pest, the EPNs are effective. So these are some of the equipments we can uh, use uh, uh, being used for application of the environment pathogen nematodes, like in our irrigation and in Western countries they are using helicopters and the trip irrigation, micro injection, ground sprays, and sprinkler system. And uh, see, the uh, it can be either uh, broadcast in the field and uh, for application or spotted application. And the recommended dose are EPN. A lot of difference is there on the from uh, 2 billion to 7.5 billion nematodes per hectare. But as far as we are recommending uh, around 2, 1 billion nematodes per hectare. So mass production, as far as mass production concerned, this EPN could be amenable for mass production by in vivo as well as in vitro production. In vivo means using the Galeria melanella or any suitable like Carcera or any other. Even some people are mass putting the EPN in the uh, that is silver. So in vitro production, you know that there is solid state fermentation and liquid state fermentation. And uh, you know, bedding method is a common method they are adopting using the polyurethane uh, sponge with the uh, homogenate chicken offer for Shenanima and for chicken of all or beef extractors. So this now and uh, in Western countries, uh, they are already they are gone for liquid fermentation. This is very much essential. Once it is going to be popularized, it has to be mass produced by the liquid fermentation. That is why, you know, if you see the trichoderma or any fungal or any bacterial, any bioagents, which could be easily mass produced and fermented. So that it could, it could cover the entire, uh, it can meet the entire demand of the farmers it, they, uh, you can produce in larger quantity. It is laborious and uh, very cost effective. So, so EPN also could be multiplied in large scale uh, mass production fermenters. Uh, in, uh, as far as SBA is concerned, it will be just be attempted in the liquid fermentation of EPN and hope will be in due course will be in successful. So formulation, you know that once you, you have the product, once you have the nematode, uh, it should have, uh, it should reach the field. Uh, by any means, like you should have the proper formulation. Like the formulation is nothing but it's a carrying material, okay, just to maintain the quality and as you improve the shelf life of the nematode and uh, easy to transport and uh, survival during and after application. So, this is the formulation. All the agents, in any agents like even fungal and bacteria, either it should be liquid form formulation or it should be a powder, whatever powder formulation. So, number of formulations are there like alginate, clay, pestoc granules, and the gel formulation. It is available in the market and uh, this could be utilized. So, as far as working in SBA, is there SBA is concerned, and uh, we have initiated the 90s, 1990 itself, this project is being initiated. We surveyed entire. Uh, uh, any, is anybody is doubt this EPN? Any, anybody want to interact? Shall I go ahead? Okay, because I'm going to talk about what we have done in our institute. Okay, so far I was telling basically about what is EPN, or what is the application aspect, how it could be mass produced, how it could be formulated. Okay, in uh, next time I'm going to talk about what we have done in our institute. That we the we have survived the entire uh, sugarcane. That we we since it is sugarcane institute, we mainly focused on sugarcane. So what we did, we isolate sites, endemic areas. Uh, we looked for areas. White club specific endomopathogenic nematode. So, what we did, we surveyed the entire uh, white, that is, white club uh, endemic area, isolated, identified, and we screened its efficacy against white club. And we uh, potentially EPN were identified on the pot culture, micropod as well as field conditions. And at present, we have the largest collection of endomopathogenic nematodes, like even 75 uh, endomopathogenic nematodes, and not practice in Selenima. And this is being maintained in the method. And we have standardized the mass production and formulation technology. Uh, we have tested uh, in collaboration with the sugar factories in almost uh, fit evaluation. 
and we developed a novel Isaiah SBA EPN biophysics formulation. And first of its kind, and which has got uh, nine to twelve months old uh, uh, shelf life, and which was successful control bubble crop achieved. So we filed a patent for that uh, process for putting EPN with this biophysics formulation. Uh, then we have commercialized this technology. So uh, that is uh, by through the Agrinovate. Agrinovate is uh, uh, ICR company. Uh, they uh, uh, that is their uh, licensing on the uh, invention. That is uh, uh, technologies produced by developed by the ICR institutes. Not only ICR institutes, even ICUs also they are consolidated. And apart from the EPN work, we are working on another pathogenic symbiotic bacteria, and uh, we have the uh, 45 the largest collection of uh, bacteria. We are being storing it. Since we are doing on um, uh, the liquid fermentation, we need the bacteria. So, and we have done some purification and uh, insecticide metabolites. But these all are also uh, uh, going side by side. So this is also, as I said, uh, survey uh, set we survived, and we we go for uh, molecular, morphological, molecular, and uh, molecular using the IPS uh, uh, primers and. Uh, I would like to say that seven endomorphic nematodes, which was isolated from the white crab itself, that is a very uh, great advantage. And uh, that all the genes, uh, uh, the sequence have been submitted in GenBank. So this is a genomic uh, uh, EPN uh, characterization. GenBank submission. So we have almost all the uh, EPN we have submitted there. And this is a subtropical, we have a special survey for subtropical region. And about the bacteria, we isolated, I said, uh, 45 symbiotic bacteria. We, this also, we have the largest collection. We have done a 16 RDNA sequence for identification. And this also is being maintained. And we have this biochemical characterization. Yes, the main difference between the Cineraptors and Photoraptors is the oxidase, catalyst activity and the UVS, UVS. This, uh, this is a differentiation for uh, photoraptors and synoraptors. This is some of the uh, gen, gen bank submission. So uh, as you as on today, we have the uh, uh, collection of uh, 78 EPN as well as 45 symbiotic bacteria in our culture collection. We, have, we are being regularly considering in bacteria we are uh, subculturing uh, in uh, uh, media and PDA media and uh, uh, nematode we are being cultured in Galeria uh, lab. So mass production formulation is the next point. It is very development of novel Isaiah is being EPN biophysics formulation. This is a success story of EPN in uh, our institute. And uh, this now, as I said, EPN could be mass produced even in uh, in vitro uh, uh, culture using the uh, uh, foam chips impregnated with uh, chicken or fur or any other uh, protein or uh, vegetarian based uh, uh, nutrients. So we are attempting for liquid fermentation also, where we could uh, go for uh, monogenic uh, um, uh, mass culture, and uh, this also we are attempting, and we have, we have we are we got encouraging results, and uh, we are being concentrating more on liquid fermentation nowadays. So you know this is a monogenic culture. You should collect the eggs from the gravid females, keep in culturing the liquid agar, and uh, culturing bacteria in the flask, and uh, EPN inoculation in flask, and EPN for in second culture for 18 days. As as on today we have the uh, second culture for liquid fermentation technique. So we also, this is a novel technology, as I said, we have filed for a patent, the novel ICR is via EPN biophysics formulation. We are using the uh, in vivo method of production. We have mass production in Galeria, Melanella, there is EPN, and uh, mass production of EPN in Galeria, Melanella. Galeria, Melanella is nothing but a greater wax map. It is a uh, contaminant of your honeycomb. Okay, so it, is, it is very, uh, very good uh, host for uh, mass production of EPN. And we have then final thing is vertebral port of formulation. So this is the thing uh, that uh, uh, so many uh, biopsies at companies. So we have been regularly monitoring and uh, giving advice to the uh, factory that is biopsies at companies. So this is the I said they have the related is indica all the not only indica bacteria for even they have the uh, shelf life of uh, nine months and the glassary and other selenium group of uh, nematodes have shelf life of twelve months. Because it is very, you no, know, very. Uh, you, you would have seen if you keep it in the uh, laboratory conditions, even in the liquid uh, in the water, which could uh, store for three to four months. But if you put it in proper formulation, which could be excellent shelf life. So this is a long life formulation. So advantage I said uh, 
they are uh, uh, safe agricultural agents. They are specific to insects and safe to environment. Eco-friendly, I said farmer friendly. And EPN are tolerant to most agrochemicals, including by herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides. And apart from that, the most thing is exempted from CAPIC registration. This is very much essential because even if you develop any bacterial formulation or any fungal formulations, you should have the CAPIC registration. You should have the taxicapture data. Then only it will be uh, commercialized. Okay, that you should understand that. So as far as today, EPN is having advantage of it doesn't require any CA policy registration. Central insects and report registration, right? So this is the EPN uh, application. We are uh, uh, recommended doses 10 to the power 8. It is per acre. Usually uh, 10 to the power 9 per uh, hectare. Uh, you know, uh, EPN application required uh, specific some small attention, like in a sense, it should be applied in the evening hours because they are very, very sensitive to the uh, environmental extremes like uh, sunlight and uh, the uh, uh, even the direct sunlight is very, very harmful to the nematodes. So, always it should be advised to uh, spray the nematodes in the evening hours. So, and uh, as far as wheat crop is concerned, uh, you should uh, focus mainly on. Uh, uh, during the onset of the summer shower, that is April, May, and uh, uh, irrigate the field before and after the EPN application. And uh, we as this formulation could be mixed in the uh, either farmyard menu or in the any soil, and you can broadcast it. So this is the some of the field trials. When we have a lot of field trials conducted, this we can you can see the uh, percent reduction of uh, crops uh, almost more than seventy percent. It could be applied either, as I said, uh, through mixes or even uh, uh, drenching and uh, even in the sprayers. So these are some of the uh, companies we already we sold our uh, uh, licensed uh, EPN product. So more than uh, there is 11 companies already they are producing. They not only produce almost they marketed uh, more than uh, uh, 75. That is, uh, uh, that is, uh, and. So 75,000 acres have been covered. So this is my sum of uh, MOV signed with different companies. So we are uh, not the, as far as uh, part of the MOU, we should give the training of uh, training, training because they may not be aware of the EPN. So we should we are giving the uh, training program how to mass produce the nematode, how to mass produce the calaria, how to go for uh, formulation. How to just all the uh, uh, all the uh, uh, technology we used to uh, uh, train them, and not only train them, we used to frequently visit the factory and uh, use a few advice because this need continuous monitoring. EPN. This is not like other uh, fungus and bacteria. This particular nematode, we need uh, uh, specific, uh, you know, continuous uh, monitoring of uh, uh, this unit is very much essential. So these are some of the factory level. This is in T-Sense factory in Paimato. They are mass producing EPN. Because this, there is not, uh, you know, as far as EPN production is concerned, as I said, this is not a fermentation. This is in production. Even doesn't require any uh, sophisticated equipments, even small plastic containers. Even with a uh, few laborers, you can produce it. It's like a cottage industries. So that's why I always advise the farmers, you should they produce EPN in their form itself. This is about the product in our SBA product is being uh, launched in the uh, by different companies in the market available in the markets. Crown, Radar, Econema, Bion, Krapa. These are also some of the company. Crown is by this change company. So as I said, this technology as the last year uh, uh, was uh, released by our Honorable uh, uh, Agriculture Minister uh, Narendra Singh Tomar uh, during our ICA Foundation Day. And among the best technologies, EPN hold on, uh, among the 10 technologies by Green Event. So, this is some of the photographs you can see. There's all the stages, not only the uh, grabs, even the adult beta also being susceptible for EPN infection, people also susceptible. And, uh, and then, other uh, insect, uh, like you know, this is some of the Lemnopiran pests, like Halo Infest, this Halo Sacarifacus indicus. And Kelly uh, Infest uh, tell us these are all silky neuronal borer and uh, top borer, that is, and uh, uh, shoot borer. They are also susceptible for EPN uh, uh, application. So I would say that Goliopteran as well as Lepidopteran are more susceptible for EPN infection. Even we, we have a project with Dr. Sinivasan uh, on Fall Army Wall, and we could get uh, encouraging results 
like you know we could get uh, more than uh, 50% control of uh, uh, the small army of the number pathogenic heterodontic is indica so these are the photographs you can see this is the galeria we infected with uh, so this is in short uh, uh, i'll try to uh, make you aware uh, what is gpn uh, if you have any uh, doubt you can interact thank you very much fascinating presentation was given by dr shankar narayanan has given his uh, insights and perspectives about epn as he is a uh, well experienced and uh, accomplished personality in the field of epn i hope he will uh, give his best to answer the questions from scientists as well as students more particularly from students and the topic is open for this so she is asking about uh, mass protection and uh, formulation she is asking uh, how many days it's required for mass protection right you see uh, in vivo protection uh, in galeria melanella it takes 9 days 9 days for getting a harvesting nematode you know, if if you are no uh, i'm telling you about the epn epn part galeria part is tougher because you, there is as i said there is three part involved in the first uh, galeria protection then epn mass protection then going for formulation as far as in vivo protection in galeria it takes 9 days okay first days if you are in, if, if you are inoculating the nematode in the ninth day onwards you can harvest the endemic pathogenic nematodes like so the peak rush uh, emergence will be in ninth to 11th days then after that you can discard it because it may even it may continue up to 15 20 days but doesn't yield much okay so the best period is 9 to 11th day is a peak uh, uh, that is uh, fresh but you can harvest more right more epn This is in vivo production. As far as in vitro production, in vitro production, you know that yeah, we are using any uh, that is like uh, it is basically a uh, it's the it is we are considering EPN in the either solid state fermentation or liquid state fermentation. You know that solid state fermentation, like uh, you no know, bedding method. Bedding method in the sense they are uh, the nematodes needs simple. Okay, it needs carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Okay. so you mix the uh, in uh, proportion if it is in uh, like you no know, it, it, it can be easily mass produced in the chicken also it is a waste in the chicken you know chicken slaughtering also it is the waste you go there and uh, uh, you collect it otherwise if you are looking for the vegetarian food there are a lot of that is box medium is there like right? so basically they are wheat flour and uh, protein source you mix together and you make it is a uh, Uh, you, you impregnate it with the sponge, polyurethane sponge, and you. The thing, best thing is, you should have going for in vitro production. You should have the bacteria, okay? The specific bacteria. It's not the uh, other bacteria. The, if, you are, if you are, if you are, if you want to going for cellular glassery, and uh, you should go for the uh, cellular uh, test primary. That is, the primary is uh, specific to the cellular glassery. So you should culture the uh, bacteria also. Then you inoculate the first you. Grow the because you should to know uh, there is a lot of uh, 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 terms are there we need not talk about in detail. I would say that you just inoculate the, the media with the bacteria. Then the bacteria will be growing the media. Then you release the nematode. Okay. If you do it in the uh, solid state fermentation, uh, within you can within 24, 21 days you can expect the uh, full harvest. Okay. It will take 21 days for mass production. This is in in vitro or solid state fermentation. In liquid fermentation, from eighth day onwards, you can uh, expect the harvest. Uh, okay, this is the no. That's why you know always you should liquid fermentation is on first side. Uh, you know uh, we even eighth day on so this all depends on the number of some number of yield in eighth day and some number of in the fifteenth uh, day, twenty first, twenty first day. Okay. We should keep on this. But in our experiments, we could harvest the uh, liquid uh, shaker culture in eighth day. Yeah, it is uh, we, we harvest at two lakhs nematode per year. That is very very huge amount. The huge amount of water. So like that. Now this is the answer. Normally, it's eighth day in the liquid fermentation. Our solid state fermentation is twenty-one days, and uh, in in my production is ninth day onwards. Ninth to thirteenth day. Tell us. Okay. 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 So the thing is, uh, you know, I, I can I can tell you mine. I, our we apply for a pattern. I need not tell the uh, okay ingredient, but I I, I say that. So you have the nematode, right? 
you you harvested so my intention of you two is uh, the nematode can be exploited for commercialization okay that is the main point i'm telling you from the scratch from the soil you are taking and taking to the field so this is a success story okay this is a nematologist this from the field we could accept right formulation you harvested right you harvested the nematode and uh, it can be either uh, uh, formulated as desiccated desiccated nematode or you can formulate as it is in the gel formulation right a lot of gels are there you know like polyacrylamide gel and you know see uh, that is hydrogels are there but you know uh, it's the uh, basic uh, principle in formulation is the nematodes you know it's a moisture loving uh, animal okay the formulation should have uh, sufficient moisture right and uh, it should have a proper aeration if these two are met enough then it can be so be sufficient uh, period this is a basic uh, 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 any formulation of eating but in case of fungus bacteria it doesn't you know in the liquid you can uh, uh, you know liquid formulations are there in the glycerol uh, and uh, they are doing uh, storing it uh, it can epn as i said if you put it in liquid formulation liquid formulation it, uh, it, it is uh, maximum it can uh, live up to two or three months okay just yes, storing in the lab okay putting in the use do you know the peculiar characters of inter infect zones do you know the peculiar character why the in infect zones are with sand in the shelf like when it's storage for long time see the the nematodes infect zones are the infect stages you know like all other animals epn serving from egg to adult it is there egg stages are there three four uh, larval stages are there and male female it is there right but the thing is male female it doesn't it won't uh, kill the any insects right the main thing is infect zones the nature itself is that this nematode while well, coming out which is carrying the bacteria but the metabolic you know it will annus as soon as the uh, mouth it will be closed okay so since both is closed the metabolism will be stopped as well so that it can be stored for long time okay this is the thing so what will happen this is the this is the peculiar mechanism ijs that's why we are storing this nematode for longer time then this activity is happening means once the nematode get inside the uh, any insides okay then this some triggering mechanism which is spit the bacteria from its uh, mouth and the bacteria that it takes care of the killing insects so this the mechanism this particular i said infected zone because of the uh, arrested metabolic movement which could be stored for long time okay it, it can be either stored as a desiccated condition you know desiccated condition like you know uh, like you know what you want to study in physiology of nematodes so many uh, uh, you know isn't stage normal stage that could be uh, you should induce it you should induce it and uh, if that there are several type of formulation this this could be one among that but uh, that's why uh, we have the formulation with the uh, Mm. We, we added some ingredients there so that we put uh, uh, so uh, self life of more than nine months even classery it can more than one year this is a liquid formulation liquid formulation market i seen recently there is a um, there is a, uh, two three formulations is there uh, even more. but i would say that even nematode in liquid we can store even six months okay but the thing is uh if it is a crowded in this it is in pulp we cannot store it because which needs proper aeration liquid as a result today there is no uh, uh, specific uh, the trade trade or commercialized uh, liquid formulation available but uh, either semi solid with any you uh, know liquid or uh, semi solid liquid formulations yeah but it's not i would say that it's one or two months or uh, uh, right okay. so that's why we we have developed a lot of research on that we would like to extend this for 6 to 9 months yes very very i have seen a lot of we compare to us we would have seen a lot of papers uh, in the what uh, is self life of the pen this one is uh, we have a uh, peculiar we waiting for the attack the formulation we can do it but you need uh, as i said uh in the aeration is very much so if you provide aeration there you can extend this
actually uh, uh, the bacteria itself is not sirapter they are very peculiar in the sense once they get inside we shall kill all other uh, okay any whatever the it, it, it has to break the uh, defense mechanism of the insects this is a very critical part so that is uh, it is doing that, that that job and apart from that once the any uh, insect is being infected with water raptors or zino raptors some other secondary pathogens like bacteria which cannot uh, uh, infect that is it doesn't have any you know it will arrest all the uh, other secondary uh, pathogens or uh, fungus or bacteria so always this will be a play a dominant role but uh, as you said even uh, complex like you know uh, bacteria photo raptors even uh, it become, uh, the, uh, i would say that there is only one bacteria be present in any epn noid because it will, this will dominate the other uh, bacteria so you don't you can you cannot uh, since insect uh, uh, gets itself has a lot of bacteria uh, it will be, we have said so many bacteria there it is you know even we we could isolate even more than 10 to 10 bacteria but somehow after some time you know, this bacteria and their number to their specific this only is dominate so i i would say that other bacteria you know uh, sir some other bacteria like noisius type of nematode they have a, not only they have they, they, they don't have any photoraptors or xenoraptors they have some other pathogenic bacteria that could also be exploited they is there sir you know noisius nematode there it is rapidis group of nematode they are uh, going for and at least three, three forms will be there sir what it means most pardon for sunlight only it is most most is there so the, the, if it is dry you know if it is a dry conditions and if it is fallow condition definitely chances are there for uh, uh, you know uh, if it is providing sufficient moisture sufficient host it can be there if it doesn't have any uh, any moisture or any food or something there and it will go for maximum may go uh, survey up to 6 months if you apply that you can consider it means you should keep on you know at least we are recommending two to three application so that uh, you should you should argument argument the number one but So, the number is very very simple. EPL can be easily estimated. That's our condition. Right? Hey, let's go. Is all the crops will be having? Just, just no, no. The first five centimeters. You know, it's a most of the just the logic is all the insects go for pupation, right? Yeah. Don't go deep. So, so only if it was there, the water also will be there in the top layer. So under natural conditions, it may be there. Enough host is there, it will be keep on mass producing it. Otherwise, we are not aware. That is why you see we are keeping it up there, but the quantity is not sufficient. So that is why we are always going for repeated application. EPM is always present in the soil. It is not now. It is not. We are, we are not just discovering it. We are not developing it. already it is there what we are doing is we are just augmenting it so that's the condition is there you can just yeah. isolate it and if it is there you know uh, we have to mark like like photo ka yes sir it will be more in undisturbed soil pass by undisturbed soil is there Okay, in disturbed soil, we we isolated the EPN mostly from um, uh, it is in the river bed. Okay, so there is no cultivation there. Even we among the 78, we could isolate 25 mostly from water activities. Even from the uh, because we used to go for uh, uh, this sugarcane uh, crop, uh, this that is uh, collections. So in the river bed, we used to focus more. So it was the it is undisturbed area. It is there. Most most heterotrophic is available, and uh, cultivated land also. You know, repeated. We are doing cultivation. We are using a lot of chemicals. A uh, lot of fertilizer we are using it. But even cultivated land also is present everywhere. 
we just you know if just we since we focus mainly on uh, i i focus mainly on white crops so what i did is i surveyed only the white crop endemic areas in that sense so already if you could get any white crop in that in ep ending sites it would be you know easily for uh, uh, further you know, specific to white crop that is a motive in that so as said, it is present in everywhere so what is uh, but parasite you know percentage like under the crop it is the same number the bacteria epn there is no difference here actually this is a complex okay in the bacteria whether it is bacteria player uh, initial role in the main thing is bacteria this you know this is a uh, uh, this is very critical like very very you know lot of uh, uh, not only this this science involve part of uh, other molecular aspects basic sciences are needed the sense once the nematode get inside okay which trigger to release the bacteria right that is itself is a great a lot of work can be done in that aspect because it is papers are there a lot of research papers are there yeah, people are working on that because once if it is released in what basis it is being released which chemical is inducing for release of the bacteria it's not simply this nematode is getting inside and spitting the bacteria it, it needs some trigger, trigger mechanism this bacteria needs some trigger mechanism then only it is being released and up once it is being released you see all the natural you know all the organisms their main purpose is to progeny generation okay i'm going to multiply i'm going to generation on the multiple point like that any amoeba to all the human because uh, human being also all of you under the progeny you know the bacteria once it is gets inside it will keep on killing the uh, inside and fast multiply okay that that product can be utilized by the nematode okay there are the symbiotic relationship there so here as you said the like 60% to 70% is maybe the quantity may be less epn may be less or the bacteria may, be, may not be effective and nematode may not be effective because we survive we have we have i said we have 75 uh, epn as like we are each nematode behave differently with each insects so the nematode we isolated from subtropical region that is from tropics or somewhere it is not performing well here we don't know this maybe the climatic or so many environmental factors are there so as i said there is a you cannot separate bacteria and nematode so sometimes mostly actually any 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 biogen region if it is keeping 50% at all then it is suitable for commercial extraction okay then there uh, but uh, maybe it's a theoretical point of view i would say that the thing is uh, because of the competition we are applying huge nematodes because we are not applying any plant parasites we are applying a lot of nematodes here so the already the denom will be fully surrounded by epn it is we are recommending there so naturally maybe competition i have seen a lot of papers and uh, the thing is i would say that Even bacteria can be uh, effective against plant parasites because plant par this bacteria has got wide range of metabolites like adenomic, the semicidal and the insecticidal that could be exploited. That is a very good field to research. To research, but I would say that the other pathogenic nematodes killing the plant parasite, they are not predators. I would, is my personal view. Uh, it, maybe the population will decline due to the competition. are this sometimes the bacteria which may be emanated from the ethema pathogenic that may be the reason the surrounding the reduction for the plant parasites so i don't think so number of plant bar if you apply epn either you see most of if you are we are applying number of under number of we are apply also number of we are apply and most of number should be dead no for 50% if it is that the all the bacteria present in the number uh, of may be coming out so naturally that may be harmful to the plant parasite this is the reason i would say, this is hypothesis i would say that but uh, the main thing anybody can work on that is the bacteria bacteria has enormous potential which is you now you can develop a lot of nano formulation either uh, you go for crude extract or you can go for uh, bacterial cell free extract and uh, look for uh, uh, that is any metabolites so definitely not easy you was presenting a lot of something you know you will somewhere you will click and you know you find there some uh, potential uh, any uh, molecules that could be uh, exploited and uh, 
man of farmers you have to become a farmer yes a lot of is very much you know, there is a very very good field you know, you just concentrate more on that one and uh, as far as uh, in india is the i am saying I mean, I have seen a lot of lot of papers. There is no lot of foundation on photographers. Somebody can say that crude foundation, but you should check that out. Lot of foundation is past potential. So bacteria can be utilized for uh, nematicidal. Even you can go ahead further with the uh, fungicidal or bactericidal. Uh, because some of my friend, I don't know, you know, friend of three brother, he was city sir. At the moment, he was working on anti-cancers. It's pharmaceuticals uh, for. Uh, isolating these water aspects uh, then he isolated the bacteria from ice sheet is a the rapid is not that 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 has got the uh, all the enema pathogen usually they have some potential they have a lot of metabolites that could be exploited for specific purposes if you are working on pharmaceuticals you go ahead with pharmaceuticals and for agricultural point of view our main aim is to control insects and nematodes so this is the uh, uh, point but you can uh, that you now lot of protein if you see the uh, google uh, lot of you know, papers are there on photo adapters and similar adapters yes and every day is being coming up because they are looking for now they are the transgenic you should have a uh, collaboration with any molecular biologist you should not download work, uh, work alone and i should always you should collaborate with innovation see your molecular biologist or nanotechnologist you just compare together and they are talking If you do if even propose a project, I would say that I just sell it even for the stats. If you propose any project with the novel ideas like development of novel formulation, that is nano formulations with water aspects or something like that, definitely you can expect a lot of fund, funding from the funding agents. Because no matter what project, sir, everything will be less. I I would say that my as far as my knowledge, I would say that if you yes, everybody is looking for the eco-friendly. Uh, this is the thing. And, uh, you students always you keep in mind that you do research, and the research should be uh, finally you know see, this is a competitive world. I would say that it's not like our earlier period. You just studied, you got a job, and we are working there. But in your case, you have a lot of competitions are there. You should prove yourself. Okay, you should write papers. You do research to all simply population uh, two or three rating. Yeah, you don't 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 encourage. You just wait. In even the entire thesis, you print. Always you you will do your research in the focus in the sense that you should publish in more than uh, ten mass rating journals. You read the uh, all the papers. How these people are writing, especially the foreign journals. Okay, these students you may be very you know uh, even if, you may be rather take or you may not be interested. Uh, you want to complete the MSc, PhD. If simply you go there, getting married or something like that. It doesn't like that. The people are not only only this is a commodity. Okay, not only generous money, but it is also money. You know, cut and paste, one or another technology, one or another loose money. No, just pass it. At this time, no problem. What we are doing is just simply duplication of what the farmers are any. Just like Indian conditions, we can do it. Uh, some further argument is that always no creativity is very much essential. But students are so much that you have an enormous creative potential. That is useful. Yeah, even if you strike for it, all the paper is there. Just to publish it, publish for them. All the all the that is not academic. For that, yeah, I never had a paper. A paper is full of paper. Just so that it's hard. Maybe publish for that. Go. I mean, what is it? Publish for that. You just create. And the one more table. Because then you just add three more tables or figures. Something you discuss. And the discussion for me is because much more. Discuss part is a very very important part. I do not know how to say part of it. The interpret the cultures. The funny thing is, funny thing. If you follow part, you have to follow down there. You know, you have developed your part. Your part has developed. You will be confident. That is the first thing you want. All the other part has developed. That is the sense. The thesis part. You know, which part is important? Just you go ahead. Our solution part is not important. Side part is important. You do funny thing. அவங்க நீங்க அப்டேட் பண்ணனும் அவங்க அப்டேட் பண்ணீங்க இல்ல எவன் எல்லாமே வந்து சைஸ் வந்துட்டே இருக்கு சோ இந்த மாதிரி வந்து சரி இப்போ நான் ஏபிஎன் வந்து உங்களுக்கு சொல்ற அப்படினா ஈபிஎன் நான் ஒரு பட்டை வாஸ் ரெடி இன் மை கிராஜுவேஷன் இட் இஸ் அ பெரிய பார்ட்டி கரெக்ட் சோ தட் இஸ் தி திங் அத ஹவ் கேன் வி ஆல் தி பீப்பிள் ஆர் தேர் டூயிங் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் வை டோன் பீ அபிஷியல் ஆர்ஜர் வி இட் ஷட் பீ ஹிட் தி மார்க்கெட் இட் ஷட் தி பார்ட்னர்ஷிப் பட் ஹவ் லாங் வி கேன் கீப் இட் இன் தி லாப்ஸ் 
which reads the pharma. So that uh, so instead of in even now pharma is Kannada or Pune, now yellow paper is printed. You can't get it. That is more a success. Now. You make aware that there is a product, nematode product. This is nematode. This this is the thing we can uh, try. Uh, that is the thing. But not only that, any field of pharmacy, other different application point there go. That you should, you work in that aspect. And the application point only just you go ahead and you come with the product. The product may not be a formulation. It may be like you know sequencing, markers, so many you know everything can be better done. Okay. Even some uh, transgenic resistant genes to identify, you can go for that. So this is the you know. Uh, so this is you always you keep in mind that you focus research at least uh, bring you some product and for uh, your uh, not only for your senior development, but also for the department. Now 